From a secret location in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Give me a darn break. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. That's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Over 100 of you sent me the same story. So there's no doubt what we're talking about in this edition of the Tom Likas Show. Over 100 people sent this article and other versions of it in. That represents thousands, if not tens of thousands of listeners. Many times I find the stuff you send in fascinating, but even if I don't, just so you know, this show is not what I'm interested in. This show is what you are interested in. I won't tell you when those times are because I would not want to seem any less enthusiastic. There are times when you send stuff in, I'm going, ah, why are you people interested in this? But I will always talk about the stuff you care about. Even at the expense of what I care about. I can always talk about the stuff I care about with friends or at a cocktail party. This radio show is about the people who listen. And if 100 listeners take the time to send me the same topic, that's the topic. I just want you to know that. This is one of those times. So rather than credit any one listener for sending this in, let me go to the main source of the, the subject matter. And that is a book review in this week's edition of Newsweek. Now, I don't know anybody who reads Newsweek anymore as a magazine. But many of you still apparently see it online as Newsweek.com. And so I'm going to read you uh, an article from Newsweek. It was sent in by over 100 listeners. It goes like this. It's called How to Train a Husband. The subheader says, Want an Obedient Spouse? A new book says you should coach them like animals. Let me go to the story. Attention frustrated wives. If you want your husband to start listening to you and stop leaving his socks on the floor, all you need is a little patience and a lot of mackerel. Such is the putative, look it up, relationship advice of Amy Sutherland, a journalist who spent a year at an animal trainer school and decided to apply the trainer's techniques to her husband's annoying habits. How would you like to be Mr. Sutherland, or whatever his name is, and to know that your wife wrote a book like this? Says here, according to Sutherland, the key to marital bliss is to ignore negative habits and reward positive ones. The same approach animal trainers use to get killer whales to leap from their tanks and elephants to stand on their heads. So to teach her husband, Scott, to stop storming around the house when he couldn't find his keys, she practiced what trainers call least reinforcing scenario. 
which means she ignored his outbursts and didn't offer to help with the search. To prevent Scott from hovering over her while she tried to cook, she engineered so-called incompatible behaviors by setting a bowl of chips and salsa at the other end of the room. Soon she had a key finding, salsa-eating meat, and, she says, a happier marriage. Sutherland first wrote about her experiment in the New York Times in 2006, where it became the most emailed story of the year. This week, her book comes out. You know what her book is called? What Shamu Taught Me About Life, Love, and Marriage. And now a movie is in development. Sutherland admits that her ideas are not groundbreaking. In the 1890s, Ivan Pavlo experimented with dogs to study stimulus and response. In the 1930s, B.F. Skinner used rats and pigeons to develop his theory of operant behaviors, the idea that behavior is affected by its consequences. That doesn't mean the strategy is not controversial. Critics bristle at the idea that humans are as easily manipulated as dogs or marine mammals and contend that books such as Sutherland's reinforce war of the sexist stereotypes about women using their feminine wiles to manipulate simple-minded men. The idea of women trading simple men is a well-worn trope of pop culture. In the 1963 film called If a Man Answers, Sandra Dee's mother hands her a canine training manual with the advice, If you want a perfect marriage, treat your husband like a dog. More recently, the BBC reality show called Bring Your Husband to Heal featured a professional dog trainer teaching wives how to get their husbands to sit and stay. Jesus Christ. While Sutherland claims that animal training techniques work on both genders, in another new book called Seducing the Boys Club, Nina DeSessa advocates a gender-specific approach to changing people's behavior. DeSessa who was the first female chairman of the ad agency, McCann Erickson, argues that women should use their femininity to manipulate the men they work with and advance their careers. Instead of criticizing an employee's ad proposal, she flatters him for his, quote, brilliant idea, then sweetly asks if he had any other inspirations. She says women use these tactics with men all the time. We're mothers, wives, girlfriends, sisters. We know how to handle men. We just don't do it at work. While DeSessa's tactics may appall feminists, they appall me, for Christ's sake, the appeal of Sutherland's approach is obvious. No tearful couples therapy sessions, no tantrums about unmet expectations, but Sutherland says it's not a quick fix. In fact, she was the one who wound up being retrained, as she taught herself not to take her husband's actions personally and not to react when he did things that annoyed her. DeSessa also says she retrained herself to stop criticizing and confronting the men she worked with and instead used what she calls S&M, which for her stands for seduction and manipulation to get her way. And she says we shouldn't admit to our manipulations. If people think I'm being conniving, I am, she says. But if men see it coming, they'll duck. Sutherland's husband eventually caught on to her experiment. It didn't help that she wrote a book about the animal trainer school and even started using the techniques back on her. Now they use the word shamu as a verb, as in, did you just shamu me? Shamooing might work to get your husband to stop leaving his socks on the bathroom floor, says psychotherapist Marlon Potash, author of Hidden Agendas, What's Really Going On in Your Relationships. She says, in small doses, it's really a good idea. But she's skeptical of the idea that the technique will work with real marital problems, such as a lack of communication or sexual incompatibility. I don't really believe that changing these small behaviors is how one transforms a marriage, she says. Sutherland makes no claims to be a relationship expert, and she's not opposed to therapy, although she says, judging from the enthusiastic response to her essay, quote, 
Psychologists might want to consider bringing more animals into the mix. Now, people were so outraged and offended by this article, which many of you read. I'm sure very few have read the book yet, but uh, many of you read this article. And then we uh, move on here to, uh, uh, there's an article in Cosmopolitan, which is uh, called Six Ways to Train Your Boyfriend. Did you know about this? Same time. And it, uh, again, quotes Amy Sutherland. And they hired Amy Sutherland, the author of that book, to deal with boyfriends rather than husbands. So here's Cosmo with a little sidebar called Curb More of His Bad Behavior. Says your animal training author, Amy Sutherland. Can you believe this, boys? This is what that bitch you go home to at night is reading when you're not around. Animal training author Amy Sutherland solves Cosmo Reader's biggest gripes. And that is done in the form of questions and answers, okay? Question. My guy texts me instead of calling. Can I get him to pick up the phone? Answer. When he does call, reward him by saying how much you appreciate it. But be careful not to say, I prefer this much more than texting, because that makes his punishment with the reward. I'm just quoting this stuff verbatim here. This is from Cosmopolitan. Question. At dinner, my guy wolfs down his food. How can I slow his pace? Why is that your business, you bitch? Answer. Trainers teach animals incompatible behaviors, which means doing something that would make his fast eating impossible. Distract him from eating by asking him questions when his food arrives. Question. My boyfriend walks away during fights. How can I get him to stay? He should walk out the door. That's what he should do. Answer. Trainers know their species limits. Your boyfriend may not be able to engage in these chats as long as you are. And avoiding conflict might be his way of preventing the fight from escalating. A series of shorter arguments may be better. If you're having a series of arguments in your relationship, let's uh, talk about training women, okay? If you're having a series of short arguments, it's time to go. You're with the wrong person. If you have to argue, you're with the wrong person. Are you hearing me? I'm going to say it one more time. If you are arguing all the time... It's because you're with the wrong person and it's time to leave. Not alter people's behaviors. It's time to go. Alter your own behavior and get a new apartment. That's how you solve the argument problem. I solved the critiquing and c complaining and cajoling problem by not allowing a woman to live in my house. Now I'm right all the time. And if I leave socks on the floor, I don't hear a word about it. And if I put the garbage out at 8.15 instead of 7.30, it's not a problem. Nobody's going to be training me like an animal. Question. My guy ignores me when we're out with his pals. What can I do? F one of his pals. No. Answer. Trainers call this self-reinforcing behavior. He's not purposely ignoring you. He's just focused on having fun with his buddies. Most trainers wouldn't try to get an animal's attention at this point. For that reason, I would just watch him play and not take it personally if he's absorbed with his friends. And order a cocktail on his dime to make the experience more fun. Now, you see, I agree with him up to the last line. If your boyfriend is having fun with his friends, just... Let them have fun. But, of course, then it has to get back to the usual female activity of spending our money. Outrageous. So I'm sure that some of the bitches, old bags and broads out there who listen to this show who are hearing about this book will probably run out and try to buy it. 
and then uh, use the techniques described within. I'm telling you right now, boys, I'm warning you in case this is being done to you. Because if you're being manipulated like this, so you can have your behavior altered, it's time to go. Don't you agree? 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. So you don't believe that marriage could be happy? You don't believe that it could bring people happiness? I think there's people who uh, jump from an airplane and uh, they're happy, at least till they hit the <laughs> ground. Feels like you're flying. Uh, it's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show at 1 800 5 800 Tom. So, you have this author named Amy Sullivan who is suggesting that you train your husband the way she trained animals. By the way, ladies, just a question for you if you need to train a husband or a boyfriend, why do you need to be in a relationship? Jesus. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. It's Jess on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How Hi. are you? I'm okay, Jess. Tom, it's such a funny coincidence. I was actually looking at my sister's Cosmo last night, and um, I didn't get to that article. I was looking at it just thinking, okay, come on. But, no, I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is, Tom. I mean, this lady's coming up saying that you can train men. No, you can't. You know, first of all, you cannot train men. And then just the idea that they're pushing on to women, you know, that you could train them. I mean, all they're doing is really just setting false ideas. Well, you're sending the message that men are just a bunch of animals. Exactly. And really, if it were animals that were that simplistic, why would any woman want to be involved with us in the first place? Exactly, Tom. I mean, look, I, I was in a relationship um, that happily got ended because, I mean, things just weren't working out. You know, they, ju they just weren't working out. Like you said earlier, if you're having a series of, of arguments, you're simply with the wrong person. I mean, I refuse to have somebody try to change who I am. Why would I want to try to change somebody? I mean, waste my time trying to train, quote unquote, train them. Because women are, are women are too person. much of a because women are too, in too much of a rush to have a permanent relationship or to get married, and so rather than taking the time it takes to find the right person, uh, they'd rather uh, take whoever they find and uh, put a square peg into a round hole. I agree. I definitely agree. And it's women like this. What's her name? Amy. Whatever. It doesn't even matter what her name is. But, I mean, it's people like that, you know, giving young girls, young women, this idea that they can. I mean, it's just really, it's really sad what they're becoming. I mean, you are who you are. You know, if you're with the right person, you don't need to change anything about them. You know, they accept you as they are. Of course, you know, you're going to, if you really are ready for a real relationship, yeah, you know, you're going to have... Here's what I say. It. Here's what I say, and this is going to be the theme to this program. Accept me as I are or get the F out of my house. Yes, I definitely and agree. I don't think that's unreasonable. And anybody who's having arguments with me or is complaining that I won't stand around and engage in arguments for long periods of time, get out. Exactly. Get I out. Mean, I have to... By the way, I'm not just saying this on the radio for effect. I want to make this real clear to people. I have told more than one woman, there's the door. Use it. No, I mean, and it's absolutely true, Tom. I mean, look, I'm 25 years old. You know, it's I, I kind of want to start dating. But then again, it's like I don't because people expect me to be something I'm not. You know, I mean, my last relationship, he really, I mean, he really tried to make me this submissive person and make me into what he wants me to be and I'm not you know it's like I really think I'm a good person you know I can be a good catch but if the person that I'm with is looking for what I can offer and if what I offer to you you don't want then you know what you're wasting my time and you're wasting your time it's that simple but I mean this lady is honestly she's a joke 
She's making young women think that they can do something that, frankly, they shouldn't. They really shouldn't. They shouldn't even bother with If any woman ever tried this on me, she'd get booted out so fast. Oh, well, you know what, Tom? Yeah, I mean, for sure. It's like, I definitely agree on that. You know, because it's like, why Why would you even want to waste your time with somebody like that? So, I mean, yeah. you know, this lady, she's a joke. I mean, she's really giving women, I mean, at least the good ones left, if there's any, a bad name. You know, because that's really stupid. It's really, I mean, not selfish, but just, it's stupid. It's just typical of the usual crap uh, in women's magazines. These are what women's books are all about. This is the kind of stuff you hear about on Oprah. Men are dogs, men are pigs, I mean, and, of course, every possible animal reference to refer to men. And now we have a woman who proposes training men like animals. Why would any man want to be in a relationship with somebody like that? And, and I never will be. Write this down. I never will be. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Ozzy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Ozzy. How are you today? Doing great. All right, fantastic. Well, I was telling Dean, uh, I'm a student right now. I'm over here in uh, Oxnard, California, and uh, I'm a psychology major. And uh, before I was, uh, I got into school, you know, I wanted to know a little bit more about the, the field that I was jumping into, and I got a position uh, working with uh, kids with autism. And uh, so, you know, I was really psyched, you know, working with kids and, uh, you know, not having a friend who also had a, a little brother who was autistic, you know, I thought, you know, it'd be a, you know, a good jump a good jump start for me, you know, and, and doing what I was going to do. And uh, so I was getting trained and everything, and uh, come to find out in the training manuals and stuff, you know, one of the instructors was letting me know, he's like, yeah, you know, believe it or not, he's like, this is the same way we treat kids with autism, is the same way people, uh, you know, train dogs. You know, this is exactly the same thing, and using that positive reinforcement thing and all that stuff, and I was just, like, so disgusted with, like, the way that they're they're talking about it, and I mean, of course, it was probably shocked. The instructor was shocked when they first found out, but you know, it's their job, and they, they now they're just careless about it. And now to hear that this broad over here is like, you know, pumping it up and making it, you know, writing her own book about it and trying to make a joke out of it, it's like totally disgusting. She's it's not making ironic. a joke out of it. This the the thing about it is she's serious. Yeah. Right. And I mean, I mean, was, yeah, exactly. This, the, the instructors with the kids that were the instructors for autism, I mean, those people were serious, too. And, I mean, I don't know. I just guess uh, that's the way, the, the way it rolls, I guess. By the way, uh, if someone wrote a book about women and said that men should train them like animals, right? sit, course, stay, roll over, beg, if somebody wrote a book like that, for right, God's definitely. sake, they'd be taken to prison uh, in this country. Are you kidding me? Right. That I mean, I person would be lambasted. It. Everybody would be jumping ugly on him. But when a woman writes a book saying, you know, train men like animals, people oh, yeah. think it's some amazing discovery. Right. I mean, to tell you, I don't even really think we should even change the topic for today, man, because you're giving this because the same bras that are listening that hate you and always hate what Tom Likas has to say, they're the same bras that are listening right now. I'm going to go pick up that same book and just giving this bra so much like publicity for her new book. Oh, don't worry. We're going to have her on, and I'm going to tell her what I think of her idea. Yeah. All right, Tom. Well, it was great talking to you, and uh, i got to get back to work, but I was wondering if you could uh, take me out with uh, Bon Toke. I can, Ozzy. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Ray on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Yes. What is going on with society? Why can't women see? God, I can't talk to a woman who's happy. They're not happy with men. They can't find this, can't find that. They're watching this Oprah crap. All this stuff has happened since feminism, and women are not putting themselves in a happier state by listening to this crap. I mean, you again, know, how much more evidence do you need? That it's, it's time to say place. had that it's time to everything. say no to women living in your home. Tom, the divorce rate, everything's proven it. You know, this the society is breaking down. And and women are not making themselves happier with this crap, but somehow they don't see the relationship. They're watching the view over all this crap. You know what I say? Uh, yeah, if 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 you if you think I engage in bad behavior, I'm doing you a favor by not letting you live with me. You should thank me for saying we're not moving in together. You would think that, but they're not happy. I mean, women are not happy, and they're and they're putting themselves in a much unhappier state by listening to crap like this. I, you know it. what? I, 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 one reason I love this, 
is because, you know, a lot of the guys who listen to this show are morons, and they don't take what I'm saying seriously, and they don't think women are so bad. Uh, but 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 when you hear this, when you hear there's a woman proposing that men be trained the way they train Shamu at SeaWorld, uh, doesn't this tell you that everything I say is true, that everything I say is right? Amen, brother. Amen. Women should be used as human toilets and sperm receptacles, and that's it. And I watch your mouth through on the air. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> but you're with me. I'm with you. All right, bro. Except for using the S word on the air, I'm with you. For God's sake. Jill on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm angry. Yes, you sound very angry, and I can totally understand why. I actually um, saw this woman on one of the morning shows um, being interviewed, and when I heard the title of the book, I was very, very angry also because I think it's almost like rhetoric, and it separates men and women. And what happened is she was actually being interviewed by the host and I think a therapist, but what they... Um, uh, got her to admit at the end is what she did is she ended up changing herself. She had to end up changing herself because the person that was with her said, you can't change anybody. And she said, well, what happened is I actually ended up changing myself. I, I well, you know, changing- well, even if that's true, uh, it doesn't say that in the uh, article in Cosmo where this woman is, is, is suggesting how to change the so-called bad behavior of boyfriends. That's just, you know, that's such old, ridiculous behavior. No, well, I'm glad she's doing it because I hope the men out there who are stupid enough to get engaged to let women move into their homes understand that these are the kinds of things women are engaging in now. But I really hate this because it just makes men angry. Obviously, look how angry you are and look how angry all these other men are going to be. I think it's disrespectful. Well, you know, I'm angry right now. But I must tell you that when I'm home and there's no woman there to critique me, (laughs) criticize me, tell me I'm wrong all the time, tell me that what I do is wrong or I'm wrong, I, I have, and I don't say this for effect, I want you to know, I have never been happier in my life. No, I live alone and I'm happy and they did mention on the show, she did mention nagging. She did say that she has to stop nagging. That was another thing. Well, and that, that's clear from the piece in Newsweek. That's clear that she is saying that. Mm-hmm. But I, I do not want to be trained like an animal. And, uh, right. I, you I know, agree. one way to that you don't have to put up with my bad behavior anymore is don't live in my house. Well, I, I think the book is unfortunate and the title is unfortunate because it just gets us back to, like, Arguing with I think it's other. fortunate because, uh, again, uh, the men out there who might be tempted to get married or move in with a woman or have a serious relationship, hey, boys, doesn't this tell you that everything I've been saying is true? That's true. That's true. Can, can you take me out Kobe style? Please? I can, Jill. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Uh, uh, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. To all those guys out there that are that are knocking these broads up and, and telling them that they love them and, and all of that, you know, these girls don't love you. These girls love wallet. These girls don't want to have your baby. These girls want to have job security. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show from Hollywood at 1 800 5800 Tom. It all started with an email sent by over a hundred different listeners. And it is about a book called What Shamu Taught Me About Life, Love, and Marriage by somebody named Amy Sutherland, who, um, Talks about applying animal trainer's techniques to solving her husband's annoying habits. 
If I were him, I'd wait till this becomes a bestseller. Get the hell out of there and take half of all her money. That's what I'd do. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Kelly on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. She hung up at the last second. Sarah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Love your show. I uh, just caught the topic and thought I'd call in because I think it's really interesting that, and don't get me wrong, I think that the way that this woman, this author is approaching the topic is rather demeaning. I mean, nobody wants to think of themselves as trainable like an animal. But I find uh, striking similarities between what she's preaching and the methods and techniques that you promote. And I don't really find a huge difference in the way that um, she's going about manipulating men than what you preach to uh, go about. Yeah, except I have no interest in manipulating a wife or a girlfriend. I have no interest in having a wife or a girlfriend. Anybody who doesn't want to give me sex is free to walk at any time. Well, That's I not the same as being uh, under lock and key with somebody you're stuck with. Who's constantly well, there going, that, here, Rover, that fetch, powerless. Rover, roll over, Rover. Well, how powerless is the man to put himself in that position where he's, I mean, nobody's holding a gun to his head. He's that's my married. point, and that's away. why I'm telling guys not to get married and not to let a woman move in. You're exactly right. Well, I think that kind of uh, blows over the point that I'm trying to make. That it's all a game of manipulation, and people people do what they can to get but what the they But the difference want. is, well, again, the difference is, though, that uh, people who are not stuck in a relationship uh, are only manipulated as much as they want to be. Well, what, but people who are stuck in a, in a relationship are only manipulated. As Many as of them don't know that. Many of them, they have a contract that says they're married forever. They're joined at the hip permanently. They took wedding vows. They have no idea how easy it would be to get out or that they should get out. Many of them are stuck there because of children and the cost of getting out. Many of them are stuck there because of the cost of a divorce. Well, I guess I don't have much sympathy for a man who is that... Oh, uh, I'm not asking you to have sympathy for anybody. I believe in empowerment. And step one for men being empowered is not to let women into our homes to live. Not to give them the passwords or the PIN numbers to our bank accounts. Not to let them have the keys to the vault. If women don't like our behavior, they can rent themselves an apartment, pay their own bills, buy their own clothing, and, and then they can uh, live any way they like. Well, Tom, just wanted to make my point. Yep, I and I made mine. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. Nimai on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, What's Nimai. Up, yeah, doing okay. Hey, You're the father... You're the teacher, but you know what they should call you? They should make you the, the, how do they call Nostradamus? The. Oh, you're talking about being, uh, uh, like, a, a predictor. Yes, man, because every prophet saying, man, has been coming through. How is this possible, man? Everything, Tom. Well, I have a lot of experience, and that's why. I can see that, man, but, you know, I talked to you previously about a different topic, and uh, I'm currently married. I, I, I really doubt you remember me, but uh, the deal now, Tom, is that she wants to change everything, Tom. She keeps telling me all the time, I need to change. I need to change. What I do is this and that. And, I mean, she loves me, and she's been with me the whole time. The way I am, why are these problems? Uh, because now, because now? what? Does she live with you? Is what you tell me? Yes, Tom. Well, why we did you allow baby. that? We have a little baby. I didn't know what? better, Tom. What? I didn't have the professor. You see, and that's why she's doing these things because she can. This is what women will do if they can do it. But what am I supposed to do now, Tom? She just—you have to change this. I don't look. I don't want. Right, did you say you're not? You're just living with her. You're not married, right? We are married, Tom. We have a little. Why? Did, but the point is, why did you get married? Ah, uh, Tom. Besides the stupidity and not knowing the professor, I have no other explanation to that. I mean, you didn't need to get married. You could have just, uh, 
you know, paid your child support and moved on. Uh, I could have just hit it and quit it, Tom. Why, well, yeah, why didn't you? I don't know, Tom. I was in love. Oh, oh God oh, almighty. My God. Oh. And and now that I tell you, you know what, I like who I am. I don't want to change anything about myself. I think I'm the, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm the, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm the man. I don't want to change anything about me. I like who I am. And then she goes and says, oh, I don't want to change who you are. I just want to change you uh, smoking weed. And I'm thinking, if I was the type of person that I, I'm going to smoke and sit at home and don't do anything, I understand. But I'm out there working my ass off every day to provide for you and the baby. What the hell is so horrible about it? Why do you even discuss it with her? Why do you even discuss, why do you even discuss it with her? Uh. The two of you were partying, and, and she was getting knocked up. She thought smoking weed was just fine. That's absolutely right, Tom. That's how it always is. That was not, it's not, it's not acceptable. It's like I'm the one bringing in the bills. Eat it if you don't like it, right? If you don't like it, it's not my problem. Right. I'm paying your bills. I'm paying for everything. That's exactly right. Oh, Tom. What am I supposed to do now, man, if I just... Leave now, you know what I'm saying? I have these, these bills for the rest of my life. But you're still going to have those bills. But it's going to cost less in the long run because uh, now you're supporting uh, three people and you should only be supporting two. You really think so, Tom? Of course, pending your meeting with an attorney. Oh, man. That's another headache, you know, trying to get through the attorney. I'm, I'm, look, I've done it four times. It's doable. Oh, man. And I also saw the the... I actually saw the Today Show when she was in the uh, Today Show. Explaining all the book. I mean, I was sick of my stomach, man. These women trying to change this man all the time. Guess what? They're the ones that need to be changed, man. You are exactly right about that. Thank you, Nimai. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's hey. it going? Okay. Good. Uh, well, it, this this whole subject boils down to one fact that you state every day in your classroom, and that is women are attention whores. And uh, when they're not getting it from guys that have either wised up or grown a set, they turn to this psychobabble BS in Cosmo magazine, and they try and train us and manipulate us. That's exactly right. Yeah, and I just wanted to say that. And I think that uh, more guys got to wise up and just uh, get out, you know? Of course! Oh. Uh, yeah, so keep up keep up the good work. Uh, could you possibly take you out with a car wreck? Uh, yeah, I guess I could take you out with a car wreck. That'd be great. Okay. Thanks. one 800 800 tom It's Maria on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Hi. I was calling to make a comment on your segment of today. Um. If men or women don't like who they're dating, well, then change. Why stick around and try to change them when you know for a fact that men or women don't change? Because no, because women never believe that about men. But women believe that men are diamonds in the rough. They use terms like diamonds in the rough. He's a diamond in the rough, you know, a little polish. He'll be perfect. Men don't change. They women need to wise up and understand that once men are what they are, they're never going to change. Whether you oh, well, this is what most of my friends say. Well, once I marry him, he'll change. If he didn't change when you were dating, what makes you think that he's going to change now that you're married? Well, you're right about that, but most women don't believe what you are saying. You know, like most of the women, they call and they complain, oh, my husband this, oh, my husband that, oh, my boyfriend this. Well, just shut up. If you don't like it, do something about it. Find another one or stay by yourself and just date. Like you give the men advice to date whomever they want. Well, women have the same option. Yep. Date whomever you want. That's right. But women are never satisfied unless they are training us like Shamu. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show. 
these other